Bro, he's um, part of TSA. SLH. SLH, yes. goodness. So this we're talking old school. Old, but old school names. Here we have uh, some guys who have been doing this for a while as well. You know, we talk about how good Hacks is. He's been doing this for so long. I mean, I think he was doing it since he was like oh my 12. God. Since he was, yeah, I think since he was 12, he just There's come around with his mom. Had to chaperone him. Like I remember uh, there was a shot of him in the Smash dock toward the end. It's and he doesn't look anything <laughs> like that. He's uh, This was uh, when the Little Rascals truly were the Little Rascals. <laughs> they were tiny rascals. Well, let's talk about uh, Falcon and Teams. And I guess I, I love that tech case from Hax. It's one of my favorites to see anyone call off. Where he'll down throw, but he'll grunt at the edge of the stage and the back boost towards the center. Time and right to cover all three tech options, which is just... That's what he does. That's what he, he throws he it down, the game, yeah. runs up to you, sees what you're going to do. He just, very good reaction, and then just follows up. This Falcon, I used to think, like, oh, he had to guess. Oh, he's obviously guessing, but... Sometimes we're not sure if he just knows or if it's... <laughs> it's just so on point. Oh, that was, a, that was a great shine, but the Firefox saved him. And OTG was Definitely there, the doctor. Us. And the OTG is another one of those players that a lot of people don't know too much about. Uh, part of TFS, crew with uh, P. Chris, PC Kip, PC Jonah, myself, Mogwai back in the day. Uh, fantastic Dr. Mario. You know, there's a bit of a rivalry for a while with him and Shrew, but with OTG's uh, lack of presence at majors, uh, all signs point to Shrew, especially with how good he is at majors. Consistently perform a top eight, things like that. That's one of the biggest events that the scene has ever seen. D1 with a very nice shine right there, not letting him back. Doc couldn't really do anything D1. He just come off the cloud as invincibility frames. And one thing when you are teaming with a uh, with a uh, Captain Falcon, you know that they always want to be the aggressor. It's just part of their nature. No, they're coming at you, and if you can't handle his pressure, you're you're, you're pretty you're much it's, it's looking very. Something's going to stab a shield. They're going to get a read, and eventually. Ooh, that's wow, that. wow, that's oh what happens. My goodness. When I don't, I, I, you know, sometimes it's dumb luck. Oh, OTG very good at uh, gipping spaces. Has practice all the time. Of course, you know, every. Doc has been doing back air since, you know, since the days of overdose and DBR with uh, Bob Money. You know, because it has such good knockback in comparison to uh, normal Mario's. And he doesn't even have to, ha he doesn't have to land a meaty hit. No. It just has to be a little tap Not and then you're going far. Right. It's such a good move. There's such a crazy turn out here. Ninja Link is here if you ever used to go to, um, Web to zone in New York. And even if you follow him in other games, I mean, he's a pretty solid uh, Brawl player. animal player, Skull Girls. He plays it all. He does. He, he does the anime scenes. And we're here on FD. I don't like this for uh, for D1's sake. OTG is fantastic off of grabs, especially chain grabbing. I've been a victim of him for years now this on the stage. This is going to be rough for Haz a little bit if... if if uh, Falcon Hacks gets, gets a read on Yeah, if Hacks gets a read, it's 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 going to be really bad news. Right. I think it's going to all depend on if uh, D1 can contain, can contain uh, Hacks and if if Hacks can kind of negate OTG. Well, I, I think naturally Marth has an uh, advantage over Doc, but it could come down to a character matchup practice. I mean, right. how, how often does Hacks get to play against a Doc? Like... That, I How mean, many that dots are there in this area? <laughs> that's right. OTG comes out and plays every once in a while. Right. So, I mean, I mean... He is arguably still the best dock on the East Coast. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think it's between him and Velocity. Down throw, up smash, yeah. See, and we're seeing some Team Kistri start. And that might be the uh, name of the game. You know, when you have two great players who might not have that synergy, if synergy can uh, kind Ooh. of uh, lessen the deficit... It's... Well, as sometimes you need like one that. of those. <laughs> he doesn't. He's too fast. He's yeah. too fast. You def definitely don't want to be stuck in your shine against Doc. He's, Not he'll, at he'll all. Just he'll get a grab, and that leads to so many different things. They're 52% all from one stuck in shine. And has dies. And of course, <laughs> you know, when you talk about edge guarding a space animal, 
you have the backers, you have the cape and things like that. So many tools that make it kind of so many moonwalks and hacks. He's so slick. They're dancing. Looking like Luigi out there. No, it's one of those guys that preached the metagame for a character. Um, S2J does it as wow, well. Wow, what a team combo. D1, just great recognition. That, see, that, that's where it is. He knew where he was going to go, was in position, got the kill for it. Right. Very, that was a huge reward. He was only at 90. He got a stock from just knowing his, his partner and his character. And then a little bit of miscue there. I think uh, Hax was waiting for OTG to punch enough smash. But uh, Hax was still, uh, OT was still edge guarding, so couldn't quite commit to that as Hax would have liked. But Good OTG was still still in their favor. Right there, D1 gave, gave uh, Doc the back air. He had enough time to follow up with another hit before he came back. He kind of stood around and just waited for uh, hacks a little bit too long. Um, oh, very good up air from from Haz. Um, a nice trade from Haz there. Says, I know I'm going to die because D1 is there and waiting. I'm going to a nice little alley-oop. Going to have to make some things happen here. Yeah, D1 actually got the best, uh, probably the best situation out of that. He could have been caped, could have been back air to hit in the right direction, but he ends up uh, going towards center stage. And Hax just going off. Finishing it up. And hey, OTG and Hax say DJ Nintendo and the moon, bring your A game here at Sudden Death for Losers Finals. I wonder.